Hey everyone, uh, Sam here. Going to be going through two different uh, videos with you. One is from Major Lazer's show at Coachella, and another is the uh, Cold Water Songs promo video that I did with them in New York. So here's the Major Lazer Coachella Weekend 2 recap first. Number one, I'm All right, there you have it. Uh, that was a big show. I mean, you can just see from all the people there is a crazy show to film. Uh, definitely one of the bigger ones. So breaking this down, more or less on, on the drive-in, uh, I had seen this, uh, you know, th this big billboard and decided that I should probably get a shot of that. So I got off the freeway, went back, uh, eventually found it again, got the shot. And as I was out there, I sort of noticed, you know, well, it's Coachella Valley and we have the windmills and all this stuff. Uh, so I got a couple of shots there. I did, you know, shoot this all on the A7S. Uh, you can see this big old hair or piece of dust or something on my sensor that when you're shooting on those smaller cameras it's really easy to miss that at times and uh, you know it's for social media and all this but still a little bit embarrassing um, and for this concert you know it, it's really easy to just focus on the show but what I realized is that uh, you know doing this other stuff you know sort of leading up building it up is really important so driving in, got some shots, had them getting out of their cars. You know, there's so much footage of them walking in and all this, but I just did quick cuts to sort of move along the edit. And then it's nice because it's them walking, stopping for a second, and then walking onto stage. Uh, a big part of this really is, you know, I, I shoot all this footage and then in the editing room, just find the shots that match the pacing and the feel. Uh, one really thing, one thing that I loved here was as a sunset show, and so I was able to have the mountains back here with the sky and them all in the same frame. Uh, really helps separate them from the background when it's just not, you know, a dark night sky back there. Um, and I, I tried as much as I could. I, I love having at least two people in frame. Doesn't always happen, but I just think it makes for more dynamic shots when you, when you have multiple people in the frame. Um, and yeah, so just running around constantly, getting as many different shots. They actually had a second show, so I had tons more footage from that as well. Uh, and you know, this, for the most part, is all A7S. I did have my larger camera with me, but being at a big festival like this, I didn't want to really take it out too much. Um, so for the most part, all this footage was A7S, just smaller camera, uh, and just you know, trying to get those great moments, getting everyone, uh, you know, taking the family photo, people jumping around, you know, capturing those little little nice moments with them dancing. Um, and then, you know, obviously, again, the big family photo. But, yeah, you know, one of the hardest things with concert photography is uh, the lighting. It's all depend on the song that they're playing, and it goes all over the place. And so I was constantly adjusting my, my lighting uh, or my exposure settings, trying to get it to match right, uh, which, you know, like right there, Obviously, I lost all details in the fireworks, but still, it still looks like a cool shot. Had I been ready for the fireworks, I probably would have stopped down a little bit, had him be more of a silhouette and really gone the details of the fireworks. But it doesn't always work like that. And again, I shot so much more footage than you see here, but for a minute long edit, that's really all you need. Or actually, this is only a 40 second edit. So, all right, moving on. Uh, this was a prom promotional piece I did for Cold Water. Uh, I'll get into the specifics after, but here it is. Real, authentic, 
One hundred percent freezing cold water. Ma'am, take some of this little girl. You guys want some water? There you this go. This is going to make your hair even really more thinking. glamorous. Thank you. Yeah, man, I like that. Here you go. It's hot out here. It's hot out here. Hey. I got you. You got two. <laughs> Choose life. That's right. Get refreshed. Yeah, man. Agua. Hey. You want some water? Go for yeah, a long one. Yeah, man. You got it. Here you go. I want to catch one of these Man. bikes. Yo, give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Give me that. Give me that. Take that. Yeah. The streets heard about this product that we got, so business is booming. <laughs> yeah, so th this was, you know, obviously very different. Still working with the same band, uh, but a very different, you know, type of video that they asked me to make. Uh, someone, you know, had the idea, oh, well, you know, song's called Water. We're going to be out in New York. It's going to be crazy hot i think this was in july uh middle of summer and i said yeah you know let's get them on the street corner handing out water that's easy uh they only had a 30 minute time slot for this though because they were going between radio interviews and all this stuff and then we had to go straight to the concert which was on the other side of uh of the city so get them out of their interviews put loves on all of them uh you can actually see you know if you look close enough so there you can see Chris's you know lovelier uh coming along his back and then Wes you can see it right there just right on his chest and you know this is typically something I personally prefer to hide but it was so quick that we just sort of had to make do um I did have a sound guy that I found out there he came on loved all of them and then he was sort of controlling the audio levels while I was farther back with a hundred millimeter lens uh just trying to keep track of where all three of them were, uh, catching these sort of funny moments of them going up to random people, handing it off. Uh, and, you know, there's a whole team of people behind me, but I basically said, you know, everyone stay back here. Let them just interact with people on the streets. Um, and people, people reacted well. You know, people were letting them come up and give them water. And uh, especially in a city like New York, it, it was just such a great group of people. And uh, this moment when he goes up and takes the guy's soda and gives him water was, was just genius um but you know 30 minutes one camera three microphones in and out uh and then just going through the edit and having those three channels of audio was huge because you know wes is here talking to this guy the other two guys are talking to other people uh and so if i wasn't able to separate those th i couldn't use the audio but because uh because he's on a different audio track i was able to do that so um, it made it made a huge difference being able to separate those out, and you know when Walshy Fire is giving his thing, I'm able to get that, and then uh, you know I, I I could get them each clean and and separate and and still sound good and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, that sort of shows you know the type of work I do. I did a hundred percent of you know directing, editing, shooting of both these videos, uh, both for the same band, but obviously very different types of work. One is covering this big epic event. The other is just having them do this sort of fun promotional piece. Uh, so hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.